Smart is almost invisible if it's really successful. Um, it's about having analytical information and measurement information that tells you uh, how your city is moving and working, where all the pinch points are, where things aren't working as well as they should. It's about giving you an overview uh, and layering information. Uh, up until uh, very recent times everyone has looked at traffic information or pedestrian information or pollution information. Uh, what SMART should be doing is layering all of these on top of each other and then finding patterns and trends across and through them. There is a terrible presumption sometimes to focus on the technology and, uh, and the solution. That's not really what's important with SMART. What's important with SMART is what's the outcome. So we measure our success on the outcomes uh, as to what has been the benefit to the city. And that's in its widest sense of the people in the city, the economy of the city, the tourism of the city, and the infrastructure of the city, and how the city lives and moves and breathes. And as long as our outcomes are all measured against these kind of parameters, then we've got something tangible we can work with. When we first started out on the Smart Cities route, we, we looked as a city council at the things that we wanted to do. And we very quickly discovered that whilst they were interesting, it wasn't necessarily what our citizens wanted us to do. We were asked in a local area to map all the electronic ATM machines uh, in, a, in a particular area which is really, really simple to do. And we did it very quickly. But when we went back to the community, they said, well, we, we didn't really want to know where the ATM machines were. We knew where they were. We wanted to know which ones charged for withdrawing money because we don't want to use them. So that was a lesson for us that it's not, it's not what we as a city want to offer or what any government wants to offer. You have to provide the solutions for the problems that the, the public have. There's no point in creating something just because you can. Um, so now almost everything that we are developing, there is a, an initial engagement with who we think will be the end users to flesh out and to specify what it is that we think we can offer, but more importantly, what the public also want from us. And by putting the two together, you get a solution that everyone wants. We don't have it yet, but we're working in the background. There is a project internally to do all that so that we will have uh, a, a seamless platform where anyone can publish to it, uh, us internally and our consumers externally. And there will be a holding area where all that information can be looked at and validated. Uh, in addition to that, it, it will be a communication channel so that all our public can use uh, essentially a one-stop shop. They will be using GIS but not really realising they're using GIS and that's where the power of smart comes in. Uh, smart technology is an enabler. It shouldn't be uh, terribly, terribly visible to the end user but they should get a benefit from having the technology there.